Is it me or is there suddenly a thunderstorm outside early morning? What is Captain Flatulence up to? God, this look at this weather. You, I just woke up. God damn it! What on earth is he up to, Captain Flatulence? Hey, Cap, where are you, Captain Flat? Are you up here, Captain Flatulence? I bet he's up here. Ooh, we got some new laptops in here and stuff. What on earth is that? What have you been up to, Captain Flatulence? Ah. What is this? Ah. A portal? The Insane Craft Matron 2K. This sounds... This sounds absurd. What are... What are we doing? What what are you doing? Ah. We're going on an adventure? Ah. Where? Ah. Ah. Insane craft land. Are you insane? Ah. This looks Oh man, this looks kinda epic. How did you create this machine? Oh, there's command blocks. There's wireless redstone. What on earth? How on earth did you find the time to make this? Ah. You worked across the night. Ah. You worked on this all night. Well, I guess we're going in. Okay, come on, Captain Fletchlands. Let's go in together then. Are you ready? Ah. Let's go in three, two, one, go! Oh, hey, Captain Fletchlands, you got here early. What is this? From what I recall, all of these items weren't in Insane Craft. Is that what we're doing today? Ah. So we're adding items to the game that haven't been added to the game yet. But they've been added in their series on Sunday's channel, right? Ah. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding Sunday's updates to the series that they haven't yet added to the series. And you can add any mod you want to Insane Craft. So, in this example, we actually added Project X and Project E. So, we've got the red katars, we've got all of these red matter tools, we've even got the transmutation table. And we've also got, um... Whatever these things are. Blue matter. So we've got different types of matter. We've got a transmutation table, which if you guys don't know what this is, basically every item in the game has an EMC value. And you can convert, for example, I don't know how many cobblestone into one diamond. So if you have a look at down here, if you type in diamond, it comes up with 8192 EMC. You guys see that just under the diamond itself? It has EMC 8192. Now, if you guys didn't know, you could get cobblestone. And cobblestone, if you put this in the transmutation table, gives you one EMC. So you'd need 8192 cobblestone to make one diamond. So that's like a lot of cobblestone, but in a way it isn't because you can make cobblestone generators that automatically generate cobblestone and put it in to an EMC table of some sort. It's basically a, like a, a chest that converts items into other items. So if we do add project, over here in the right side we have these little alchemical chests. There are there are two energy condensers as well, which one of these is worth 9.74 million EMC. You would need 9.74 million blocks of cobblestone to make one Mark II energy condenser. So all of this has been added through adding mods to the current series. So how do we do it that you ask? 
Well, oh, as you can tell, you've even added uh, Mr. Crayfish's device mod, which I don't know why they didn't add in the first place. It's kind of like a really good addition. It's got like legitimate laptops and stuff. But if we go over to this laptop and turn it on over here, and if I go into this little thing over here and do this thing here and browse, and uh, we have the tutorial video, let's open this up. And here we go. Create a new project in CurseForge and name it whatever you'd like. Add a custom picture to the profile to easily recognize it amongst the other profiles. Change the Minecraft version from 1.18 to 1.12.2. Make sure the mod loader is set to Forge and the mod loader version is set to 14.23.5.2859. Press confirm and it will create what is known as a new Minecraft instance. Once the new installation is complete, open it and press the three dots on the top right. Then on the drop down, press open folder. Do the same thing for the real instance of InsaneCraft. Once both of the folders are open, copy all of the original InsaneCraft contents into your custom InsaneCraft instance folder. Once the copying error comes up, press replace the files in current destination. Great, your instance is now a duplicate of the insane craft that you can edit. Close both of the folders and go back to your custom insane craft CurseForge instance. Go back to the top right and just below the three dots, there is an add more content button. Look for the mods you are looking to add into insane craft on the search bar on the top right. Once you've found the mod you'd like to add, press install on the right. Add however many mods you wish. Project E and Project X were added to Sunday's series but not in the actual mod pack, so I'll be adding these myself. You can see the total amount of mods in the pack by just going into the Installed Mods tab in your custom instance. I also added Optifine for better performance as you can see here. You can also add any mod from external sources by opening your instance folder and drag and dropping your Java file inside the mods folder. Now just press play and hope that it works. Okay, well that was pretty much interesting, and if you guys didn't understand how that worked, well, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is go to your CurseForge and open up a new project in 1.12.2, add an image to it if you want, that's up to you, but it will have a default image so that you can recognize it in the first place. After you do that, all you have to do is then move the mods you currently want into the series into that folder and copy the mods from the original insane craft by opening the folder in curseforge and then moving all of the mods there and copying them and pasting them into the new mod folder but once you've done that you can open up the world it may take a lot more time and i do recommend disabling aroma backup and aroma core the reason why i d recommend disabling that is because for some reason it gets a bit buggy and decides to back up your world every two to three seconds. And once you do that, well, you, it, the game becomes literally unplayable, even on a very high tier computer. So um, I do recommend disabling that. I also recommend allocating a bit more memory because it takes about eight gigabytes to load this pack. So I'd recommend at least allocating around about 10. Uh, so it's kind of, yeah, it's pretty bad. Okay, so we're back in with Captain Flatulence and uh, everything seems to be working again. But uh, I think it's time for us to go back through the portal, isn't it, Captain Flatulence? Ah. Okay, well, let's go right back through then. Where is the portal, actually? Ah. What do you mean we're stuck here? Ah. Ah. Captain Flatulence, did you not make a portal device to go back home? Ah. Ah. Okay, well, I guess if that's the case, you said this is the portal back. Ah. Okay, well, three, two, one, go! Oh, oh my goodness me.
Okay, we're back, Captain Flatulence. That worked. Ah. It worked exactly as you said, and uh, oh, it's still really rainy and stormy outside because of this thing. How do we turn this thing off? Just, just this lever. Ah. Okay. The portal looks a lot less lit up now. I'm guessing it's turned off. How long does this thing take to turn off? Ah. A couple of hours. Okay, well, I'm going to go back into my house where I was before. And with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and leave a comment down below with what episode you'd like to see next. I was planning a wireless redstone in 1.12.2 Minecraft, so if you'd like to see that, make sure to tell us down in the comments section, and I'm sure that Captain Fletchlance and I will get up to doing it very shortly. Without further ado, I need to get back to my home and go to bed because you woke me up early morning. Oh, goodness me.